So in a previous video, I talked about how if that 3D aerial button wasn't showing up, you go down here to layers, you go to more, you click on globe view, and suddenly the 3D button appears and everything's good. But many of you in the video, a ton of you, commented that the globe view button isn't showing up, this didn't work for me, 3D button is still not there, I can't click on the globe view button. So in this video, I'll show you nine steps to fix why that globe view button is grayed out. And before I begin, there's going to be lots of links and uh, shortcuts that you need to be copying. I'm going to put all the text down in the description. So if you need to copy and paste something up into this address bar here, just go down in the description and you can copy and paste right up into here. So on to number one. So this is the first example you can see if you go down to layers, you go to more and that globe view button is grayed out. That's the problem people are having. The first thing you could check is right down here at the bottom. You see right next to the little street view guy, there's a black lightning bolt. If you click on that, it says you're in 2D mode, switch back to full 3D maps. That might be your problem. You might be in light mode, which doesn't allow the 3D view. So you do that and the 3D button shows up and the globe view is already checked. So that's option number one. The second option you can try is if you go down to my description and copy and paste this link into the address bar. It's Google slash maps force web GL. Basically you're forcing it to be in the web full version. And now when you do that, it'll automatically come up. And again, the globe view button will be checked. Basically I'll put links down for all the different versions you can do. There's the light version, which is the one um, that has that little lightning bolt and doesn't allow the 3D view. There's also, instead of force light, it's output classic. That's another option that you might try. So try all these different uh, links you can paste up here to try to force it into the full maps version. So that's number two. The third thing you can try is to override the software rendering. So if you go down to my description, copy and paste this in, chrome colon slash slash flags, it will bring you to this menu. And if you look right down here, it says override software rendering list. And you go and you enable that. You relaunch the browser and that might force your browser into loading that 3D view. The fourth thing you can try is hardware acceleration. Again, copy this link and paste it in number four, Chrome colon slash slash settings. Now I'm technically using the Brave browser, but it's still the same as Chrome and it'll look all the same. If you go all the way to the bottom and you go to additional settings, then you go a little further down to system. You wanna make sure this use hardware acceleration when available is checked. Make sure that is on. Again, you're telling your browser to force, force it to use those 3D view maps. So that's number four. The fifth thing you can try is if you go up here on the right and click these three dashes, then you go down to more tools and you go to clear browsing data. You could clear all of this out. Maybe you have a ton of files saved here. Um, maybe you don't want to get rid of your passwords, but you can get rid of your browsing history, download history, get rid of all this stuff, restart your browser, and maybe that'll free up some space on the browser settings and it'll enable you to view those 3D maps. So that is number five. The sixth thing you can try is another link, and it is the earth.google.com slash web. Basically, what you're loading is a web browser version of Google Earth. Now, Google Earth is typically a program you download on your computer and run, um, but this is just the web version. of. You can see it automatically loads up a 3D version. Right down here at the bottom, it says 2D. You can switch to 2D mode, but it, this is always in 3D mode. So maybe that's another thing you can try to load up a 3D aerial of whatever you're trying to look at. So that is number six. The seventh thing you could try is to update your graphics driver. Again, here's a link for NVIDIA for GeForce um, video cards. You can update your, your graphics card. Maybe it hasn't been updated. The drivers aren't updated. You can go in here and search for your graphic card and update it to the newest driver restart everything and maybe that'll work. Now the last two are a little bit uh, antiquated, but I would suggest restarting your computer. Maybe you have a bunch of programs running here in the task manager. 
So maybe in your task manager, you have a whole bunch of programs running and things going on in the background. If you just restart your computer, maybe it'll get rid of all these things and free up some memory and CPU and GPU usage and allow you um, to run this in 3D mode. And number nine, the last thing you can try is a different browser. So maybe you can try Firefox or Edge or Opera. Again, um, I have Chrome right here right now. This isn't working. You load up Firefox, you go to More, and GlobeView is able to be checked. So it's very ironic that Chrome doesn't work considering Google owns Chrome and it should work on theirs. And a lot of people have said it works on Firefox or Edge or the Opera browser. So that's kind of your last hope is to just use another browser. So I hope one of these nine steps will help you. I think one of the most common ones might be that lightning bolt light mode here or updating your hardware acceleration or overriding your software rendering. But hopefully one of these nine steps will help you to get a 3D aerial view on Google Chrome. Let me know what you think. Thanks.